resonated the most was don't be intimidated. I felt like this thing in my body goes, let's do it. Let's just do it this one square. And I'm like, no, brush your teeth and go to sleep. <laughs> we are on day six. This is eight tips for beginner gym knowledge. Number one, don't be intimidated. Everyone is usually focusing on their own progress. Gym regulars are not quick to judge because they know the hard work, dedication, and struggle of a fitness journey. The biggest transformations are usually the most inspirational. So go get a cute gym outfit and you're one step closer. I really like that, you know, you're saying that a lot of people that are like very into fitness, they have to start at the same starting point. Um, so I have to remind myself that. Two, have a plan. Preparation is key to jump to jump starting your fitness journey. Having your workouts prepared will help you stay on track and pro will prevent you from feeling intimidated, frustrated, or wondering what to do next. Um, this is where your schedule will be handy. Uh, and then I think having a plan is a big one for me. Uh, of knowing like, okay, I'm gonna do back and biceps today, but then also being able to, and having an idea of what machines and what exercises I'm gonna do, but then also having a backup plan for if that machine is not open, which happens. Diet is important. You are trying so hard in trying to transform your body. So what this means is, when I first started working out, I was eating like shit, but working so hard in the gym, realizing that diet is important, so, right? right? Okay. So now go back into Got premium it. food. Okay. Premium food is what your body needs to lose fat and build muscle, giving you that lean and toned look. You know, like, and with chocolate, I just realized it. First of all, it was so crazy because we had this conversation about sweets and stuff, and then I went home and I was, I ate like half, like, or either I swear, and my stomach, like, was so horrible. Like, my body was already understanding, like, hey, you told me that you're not gonna be consuming this anymore. It was so crazy, I felt horrible. I'm like, yes, definitely. I need to stop and and the reason why to me is like I know I work so hard you know why not it's just one thing Number four, don't compare yourself to others start with lightweight and uh, pro progress when your body sets its time to the quickest way to to an injury is getting your ego involved and not listening to your own body's limitations. Well, I know I went through, I would start off at YMCA and it was because there's fat people there, you know, there's older people, there's younger people, there's like all different ages and I'm like, I'm never going to EOS, I'm never going to Gold's Gym, they're all bodybuilders, you know, it made me feel uncomfortable and so I didn't continue on my journey and when I went to EOS I got scared to come here to Gold's, to World's Gym. And now that I'm here, it's like I'm so comfortable with everyone. I have no issues. I'm not scared anymore. I'm Working out is like meditation. Learning to sink your breath into the movement will make it easier to perform the exercise. Exhale while you're, you're doing the hardest work and inhale when you're coming back to your starting position. So let's take a moment. Okay. okay. Number six, always warm up. Warming up prevents against injuries and also increases circulation, loosens joints, and stretches the muscle. There are two types of stretching, dynamic and static. Dynamic stretches are used at the beginning of your workout. Example, lunge with a twist over the knee or knee hugs. Static stretches are used between sets and or after your workout. Example, figure four glute stretch or pigeon stretch. Number seven, proper gym etiquette and vocabulary. <laughs> Re-rack your weights, don't leave your sweat behind, no crowding the free weights, stand back to allow room for others, need a machine, just ask how many more sets they have and when it, it's your turn, place your towel and water bottle to hold your spot. Number eight, form over anything else. Chest up, butt down, that's how we lift things. Um, obviously nobody ever taught me this, so as you guys are telling me, it literally makes me reflect back to what I've like been through in my life. And so the first thing that she said, it kind of resonated for me that I was like, all right, you know, I first started off with just cardio and being totally intimidated by the gym as well. Um, Stacy, what is it that you said that, that, that resonated with me? Um, oh, food. 
So I told myself, and this is right in where Stacy's shoes are, is I told myself, I said, you know what, and I remember having these mental thoughts, because you know, we're always in our head. And I said, you know what, I'm just gonna go to the gym. And the only reason why is so I can continue to keep <laughs> eating what I wanna eat. That literally was my thought process. And that is all, I, the reason why I went to the gym is yeah. I would seriously be like, all right, I'm going to the gym today so I can go splurge on whatever I want and not feel guilty about it. Yeah. And that was the whole my whole mental like cycle. So it's totally funny when you say that, I'm like, I remember that mental, pro I remember that. The chocolate thing, like totally the same thing. Just going like, go, like totally resonates. So that's awesome, you guys. I love hearing about it. Like, it makes me reflect. For sure. <laughs> I have to pack my bag and bring it with me, change my clothes while I'm at work still, otherwise I won't go to the gym. <laughs> so I have my bag, I change my clothes at my office, so then I have no excuse to not yeah. go to the gym. So she's, she's outsmart thinking herself, is the moral of the story with all of this. you're ready to get sculpted and toned and keep those sexy curves, then you're gonna absolutely love what compound workouts are gonna do for you. The first one is going to be squats. And squats are amazing. I'm gonna show you the modification, the intermediate and then an advanced version that you can do either at home or in the gym. All right, so first we're gonna do the squats and I'm gonna show you that I'm using a booty band and the reason why using a booty band during your compound exercises is so good is because you're actually gonna be putting resistance onto your medius and your minimus. So as you're doing this movement, only does it keep your knees in alignment, but you're also working these other muscles to give you a nice, good, rounder look to your glutes. So bands are gonna be amazing during your compound exercises. So let's go ahead and go into um, a squat that you can do from home. So you can place your dumbbells wherever you would like. So if you'd like them here, here, or to the side, personal preference, whatever works for you, but make sure that you are adding weight into your workout because that is what's putting resistance onto your muscles. In turn, what's giving you that nice, good curvature look, okay? So the biggest thing about our squats is you want to make sure that your knees are not going over your toes. I see that as a common problem. So instead, I want you to think of your knees staying in line with your ankles. So just try to push your booty back while your knees, you can still see everything in your feet, okay? And if your squat is only right here, that's okay, because we're gonna start to develop more strength, so eventually over time, you can start getting deeper into your squats. So let's begin having your toes slightly turned out. Your legs are about shoulder or hip distance, maybe a little bit wider, whatever feels comfortable for your hips. And let's go ahead and get started. So placing your weight on, getting a nice, good, deep squat with your chest nice and lifted. Tighten your core as you come up and press your heels and uh, your feet into the ground to bring you back up, okay? So let's get a side version of that. Chest is nice and lifted. Bring it back into that deep squat. Come up and squeeze. Now here's the thing. So the trick is, um, a lot of you are asking, Danita, how much weight and how many reps should I be doing? And the answer to that is, if you can get anywhere from about seven to 10 reps and you're feeling a nice good burn, that means you did a good amount of weight. If you're having to go maybe like 15 or 20 reps for you to even feel anything, that means your weight is probably too light. And so start to learn your own muscles and learn your own body by knowing how much weight you should be doing. If you're only doing two reps and you're immediately feeling exhausted or too tired, that means it was too heavy of weight, okay? So my Enhance and Grow Girls, your reps, you wanna stay anywhere from around seven to 10, maybe 12, that, that is your rep range where if you are looking to tone and slim, you can look more around like 10, 15, or even 20 reps, and that will give you kind of more of a fat burn as well, strengthening those muscles. So this is going to be the next level up than just doing them from home. So we're gonna be using a Smith machine for our squats. And a Smith machine is something that actually has a gliding post for the bar to go up and down, all right? 
So a few key points on this one, you always wanna make sure that you're lifting a weight, that you're still feeling the muscles that you want to be used. If you're starting to feel other muscles being used or you're not activating the right ones, that means it's too heavy and you need to take it off. All right, so first thing, the, the bar is about shoulder distance, our hand placement when we go into it. So you're gonna find nodules on the actual bar and you're just going to move your hands a little bit further away so that way when you go under the bar, you're gonna be already in alignment. You're gonna go ahead and find your placement, lift the bar, take the hinges off and find a spot on your legs just like the squats that we do from home where your toes are slightly pulled out and your feet are about hip distance and getting a nice good deep squat through that using the Smith machine to kind of guide you down. Again, you want to have that mind-body connection. And so if you are starting to feel other muscles being used, instead of what you're wanting, obviously your booty, right? So move and shift your legs around so that your heels are really using the force here. of our squats where we're going to be using a squat rack. Now this one is a fun one but you definitely want to make sure that you did your beginner and your intermediate first to develop the strength because this one is going to be challenging your stability muscles uh, for sure. The number one most important thing that when you come to a squat rack that you know how to lift this either up or down. It's very important. So you want to make sure that you are looking at my clean and press video on how to start lifting a 45 pound bar at the gym. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. You wanna make sure that your bar is about shoulder height. That's a good start. And then next, when we go into it, we wanna make sure that our hand placement is correct so that when we do put it onto kind of like your trap right here, you don't wanna put it up on top of like your collarbone. Bringing it down a little bit into that soft spot is where you truly want to rest that bar. All right, again, don't lift too heavy of weight. You wanna make sure that you are progressing to a weight that you are feeling it um, and challenging yourself, again, about like seven to 10 reps, rather than um, overdoing it and only doing two reps and it's just too much for you, okay? So again, seven reps is a good number to, to measure by. So let's go ahead and get started. To our beginner lunges so these you could easily do at home or vacation right or at the gym so as you are in lunges I personally prefer either the reverse lunges where you step back and go into your lunge or the stationary lunge where you're already set up and you're just bending both knees I prefer that over walking lunges because walking lunges is a forward step that could uh, potentially put a lot of pressure onto your joints okay so let's go ahead and get started again you can place your weights Wherever you would like, it does not matter. So go ahead and get started. The one thing I see a common mistake is that a lot of girls try to be runway models and their feet are in a, in a line. Instead, try to keep your feet about hip distance apart and that gives you a lot better core strength and you can always hold on to something for balance if you need to. Let's go ahead and go into it. Bending both knees, trying to get them a 90 degree angle and your focus is pressing your heel into the ground on your front leg. So you're getting a nice, good glute workout in your front leg. those legs 
Make sure that you're feeling that nice, good burn. If you're not, go ahead and advance your weight. portion of our lunges so I'm using a Smith machine again to kind of guide us through it which is a, a step up from dumbbells because um, you can add a little bit heavier weight I've noticed and of course it's in the gym so let's go ahead and get started so placing your hands again where they're even on the bar so that way that you're on your back that it is also in alignment from here there's a couple things that you can do you can do just stationary lunges where your legs are hip distance apart and you're just dropping down. Making sure that you are feeling that front glute is what you want. If you're not feeling it, go ahead and make any little adjustment with your feet to try to make sure that you can feel it. So as you're doing stationary lunges, you can also do the ones where it's the reverse lunges stepping back and they're also amazing on that front glute. of our lunges so I'm going to show you a demonstration that you can do you may see these bars at your gym um, if not you can absolutely use your squat rack bar so either or whatever weight is going to feel best for you it might be super important to start off with lighter weight and always make sure that you're watching my clean and press so that you can get it up over your back and do it the healthy and smart correct way okay let's go ahead and let me show you how to do it picking up that weight close to your body Go ahead and make sure that you're using your elbows up and then down and then place it up and over your shoulders. And this is where you can start doing your lunges. take it off you can just add a little hop pop it up back over to your shoulders bring your elbows up and over and then drop your bar down <laughs> 